Hello all, welcome to the SOLIDWORKS tutorials. In this video I am going to show you how to generate the NC code for step tanning operation using SOLIDWORKS. So here this is the profile I have considered. Open SOLIDWORKS, click new and create a new part. First we have to draw the profile then we have to create the NC code. Select front plane, click sketch. First draw the outline of the profile. Here I am going to use the revolve command. So I am going to draw the top side of the profile. Then here it is an arc. Then select the line. Then again another arc and select line and complete the profile. Now select smart dimension and give the dimension. So here the diameter is 20 so the radius is 10. The length of this line is 15. The radius of this curve is R. 15 then this radius is 25 by 2 then the radius of this curve is 15 the final radius is 15 mm The length of this line is 20 and the length of this arc is 10 mm. So here it is fully defined because the line is coincident with the center of the arc. So actually it is not. So click the point and so click the point and delete the coincidence. Now select these two points and give the diameter, the dimension as 10. Now the length of this line is 15 mm. Now the sketch is fully defined. So select exit sketch, go to future, select revolve boss and select the axis of rotation. Click OK. So now this is my profile. So here I am going to select the material. So right click on the material and select edit material. And in that I am going to select 6061 alloy, click apply and close it. Now I have completed the geometry. Now I am going to create the NC code. So here you can see SOLIDWORKS CAM option. So if this CAM option is not visible in your SOLIDWORKS, then click options and select add-ins and in that you can select SOLIDWORKS CAM and you can select OK. So select SOLIDWORKS CAM then you can click this arrow and you can select the SOLIDWORKS CAM future tree. So in that you can see the machine is selected as MIL so you can right click on that you can select edit definition And in that select the machine as turning operation. So it is single turret. Click select. Then close this option. So now we have selected uh, the machine as single turret. And in the stock manager right click on that and click 
edit definition. So here I am going to manage the stock. So here the material is already selected as 6061 alloy and the stock type is already round bar stock. So everything is defined. So here you can see that if you want to create some offset then you can add some material. So first I am going to add in the diameter wise. I have added 10 mm additional and in the face I am going to add 10 mm. Okay. So click OK. Then right click on the main spindle and click edit definition. So here I am going to define the coordinate system. So it is already in user defined but the origin is part vertex. So I am going to change it as stock vertex so that the vertex will be of the stock point. Click OK. Now in some of the SOLIDWORKS you can see extract machinable features here that is extract machinable features option here. If it is not visible then you can click here and you can type it. So type extract machinable features so you can see that. So you can click on that. So it will automatically create the features. You can see that it has created three features. So when the features are created you can right click on that and you can select generate operation plan. So now the operation plan has been generated. Once the operation plan is generated, right click on that and generate tool path. So now we have generated the tool path. So if you want to simulate it, right click on that and select simulate tool path. So you can adjust the speed, click run. So now the operation has been done. So you can click OK. So if you want to generate NC code, so right click on that and select post process. So here I am going to give a name for that and click save. And you can click the play option so it will automatically generate the NC code. So now the code has been generated you can click OK. Now you can open the folder you can see a text file you can double click on that. So the coding is created here. That's all. Thank you.